Why he got the music so goddamn loud? That's beyond me. Dude. He's having a whole Frank Sinatra concert in there right now. This is unnecessarily loud. Hold on, y'all. I y'all probably won't be able to hear me because I can barely fucking hear me. Men and their electronics. Shit. I'm trying to be zen and shit over here. I got a heating pad behind me. Got candles. I got my wine. And he is getting lit. Oh, blue eyes. I got an incense over there. Oh, shit. Incense is a little too expensive to be burning it damn fast. Oh shit, there's a versus going on tonight. Uh I'm I don't know. Who's who's performing tonight on the versus? I stopped keeping up with them. Um Frank was fine. Yo, y'all not getting me in trouble. Y'all stay wanting to be messy. He was cool. Frank was cool. Um, you know, right, the verse is on. So should I have canceled because the verses is on? What y'all want me to do? Reschedule? You want me to reschedule? Keisha Cole and Ashanti. Uh, who? Ashanti. Yeah, Ashanti. Keisha Cole, but like, after a while, she was just yelling into the mic and screaming and started using us as her um me music diary so just go with ashanti and call it a day but uh besides the verses uh, apparently my bad apparently hi i was supposed to reschedule if y'all don't multitask and go get another device and you can listen to keisha holler and fucking well and me holler and fucking wail. You you be all right. It's cool. She stay yelling. And we calling her singing. She does have some hits. Um, Y'all want me to hit a couple of them joints for you? Since you missing the verses, come here and hang out with me. I hit a note or two. Baby, pick a song. Pick a song. Uh, how's that one go? It's been so long and I smoke so much weed. She hasn't been relevant in how long? Neither one of them. I'm relevant now. I'm relevant now. I'm trying to remember how that song started out. Don't let me get a hold of it because I will weld on y'all asses. All right. Any insight into pain meds injection to the midsection before closing? No, not yet. I ain't get that far in life yet. Nope. Still don't have that one. Um, I'm still thinking it was lidocaine, but no, not at all. Um, they haven't even started. They don't ever start on time. Matter of fact, we're going to be done our little live. I promise y'all. See, I don't start on CP time. I promise y'all, I'm going to end on time. And then y'all can go and watch the verses. And I bet you they still won't have started by then. Um, Ashanti has stayed working. I think she's more of a writer now than... Um, when was her last like musical hit that she did? I, don't, I never left the 90s. And I'm not sure that Ashanti's music has either. Ashanti is still working, but I think she's more of a writer. Never knew what I was missing. And then we started kissing. I found you. Love. Is that how it goes, you know? <laughs> All right, give me another one. Give me another one. Give me another one. This is not what we are here for. <laughs> Ty, I need to lose inches off this waist. Quarantine messed up my lipo. Okay, we can rap about that. I got answers for that. So, uh, we're going to start this off with how do I lose two inches off my waist? All right. Mm. Now, when y'all give me another song, I'll go back to singing. But for now, we're going to kick off into this post-op body contouring thing. And my ass is about to be a doozy. It's about to be a doozy. You want to know how to lose two inches off your waist? Let me sip again. Hold on. Let me sip again. You ain't ready for this. You ain't ready. 
stop eating. <laughs> there, there it is. There it is. Boom. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. You wasn't ready for it. They wasn't ready, Juno. Juno, tell them they wasn't. What the fuck are you eating? Hey, give me my. No. Did you rip up my unicorn? God damn it, Juno. Stop eating shit. Tell them that they wasn't ready for that one, Jew. They won't ready. Stop eating shit. There you go. Two inches gone. Right there. <laughs> okay, now seriously. Besides that, I will give you all a little insight. You missed it. What you miss? What is that a miss? Um, somebody said that they wanted to know how to lose two inches off their waist. And then I took a sip and then I hyped it up. And then I was like, stop eating a whole bunch. And it, I need my stomach stable. <laughs> um, all right, go get some pins. Go get some pins. I'll give y'all some real answers. I'll give y'all some real answers. Everybody, let me know when y'all ready. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to sip. And when y'all ready for some secrets that I give my clients on how to take inches off of their waist, is this, now, y'all be specific with me. So basically, Kordestani can help me. Is that what you say? <laughs> that is not what I said. But are we talking taking two inches off post-op or are we talking about taking two inches off non-surgically? Let me know. I'm going to be sitting here sipping until y'all got some answers. Or somebody can hit me with another Keisha song or Shanti. And I'll go back to singing since that verse hasn't started yet. What we doing? What we doing here? Which one? Mm. Love. Never knew what I was missing. I want an answer to one DMV doctor you would recommend for a tummy tuck and lipo. Yep, I've considered VSG, but I'm scared. Will my cup size stay the same with a breast lift? Doctor says yes, but I don't know if I believe him. Well, if you're not getting a reduction, if you're not getting a reduction, and um, if y'all, if I drop secrets on that one, I might not be able to save this live. And if y'all going back and forth between me and the verses, that's on CP time that hasn't started yet. Let me stick one question at a time. My ADD is in full gear. I went hiking today. I usually start off like, how's your day? How are y'all doing? So my day was, I didn't do none of that shit. I just started singing to y'all. Unappreciative, god damn it. Um, but uh, I went hiking and I'm tired as fuck. Um, apparently I have a whole bunch of friends who don't understand that black folk don't do certain shit and be having me out here looking like boo boo the fool. And I was like, you ain't hear that noise? And she was like, oh, let's go see what it is. No, the fuck we not gonna go see what the fuck that is. That's how scary movies happen. Mm -mm. But she cool as shit. Love me some her. She's amazing balls. Fucking amazing. Like moms of multiple peoples, little peoples. Y'all are amazing. Amazing, amazing little humans. Um, oh, y'all are the big humans. Will my cup size stay the same with the breast lift? If you're not getting reduction, yes, your cup size will stay the same. They're lifting up and removing the, oh, my shirt says it's above me now. But they're, so let's say this is the titty, right? Because this is, it's the whole titty. All right. And then, but the titty's not up here. It's like down here. And you got like, but when you put on a real good bra, it takes it from here and it brings it up to here. What they're going to do if you're just getting a lift is they're going to take this extra skin from here, but they don't do it that way. They'll either cut it from underneath of here and then they'll cinch it together or you'll have the nipple is right here, right? So they'll cut around the nipple and take off the extra skin and then like hoist it in like that and that winds up lifting it up. But the extra skin that's up, or they'll do the incision right here, cut off the extra skin, and then pull it down, and then pull this up, and then do it that way. But basically, um, you'll still have the same cut size, unless you get a reduction. Did anybody else enjoy that? I enjoyed it, so I'm going to do it again. I got even it out. Wait. 
<laughs> I am way more entertaining than at Versus. I promise you. Just keep fucking with me. We got, what, 49 minutes left? Yeah, we got 49 minutes. But yes, your breast size will stay the same. Huh? I told you that's why I did. I swear you don't listen to me. I said I got a live to do. My live is at 8. And that's why you was like, oh. I did. Look. I looked a mess. And I had a live at 8 o'clock. You just don't want to admit that you don't be listening to me. Is it my fault that you don't be listening to me? And you don't be. The words that be coming out of my mouth. Don't be reaching your ears. They make a U-turn before it gets there. Yup. Alright, um, the chairs are still empty on the verses. I can't, I didn't finish. I told you what it was for. I'm not going back and forth with you. Let me get my seat, please. No, I was here first. I need the seat. And people in hell want popsicles. Not everybody can have what they want. I was here first. Okay, I will mess your eyes up. Rosa Parks said, I am not moving. And her ass got removed. <laughs> <laughs> so, get up. Uh, what was the other question that I was supposed to be answering before I got distracted? Um, the DMV doctor that I would recommend for a t tummy tuck and lipo. There's a bunch of them. Um, Dr. Bolden, uh, Cortestani, Dr. Ratana, Dr. Nia Banks. Um, there's one in Baltimore that's decent. Not great. Not You cannot get in Miami quality, but his name is Dr. Rotman. He all right. You won't die. Um, you'll get like, you know, semi-conservative looks or whatever. I think there was another question that I missed up here. Stop it. Why are you blowing up my candle? You're a hater. It's a cup holder. But it was my candle. Babe is messing up our life. I, hell no, I'm not going to go. All right, I guess I'm going. I know you sleep though. He moved me. And I don't like it. You just being rude. I'm trying to. You have to tell me what to do. I'm, I'm going to finish my live. Not because you told me to. I was going to do it anyways. Um, Go back down. Go back down. Go back down. Uh, Can you say the names again? Hold on. Slow down. As I get up. <laughs> I, um, you might not be right. You might be over before it even starts i told y'all that I, it's, i'm gonna be done before they start they don't see p time i wasn't i'll be here monday through thursday 8 a.m until 9 p.m or whenever instagram wants to cut me off which they've been letting me rock recently all right um so the doctors again dr nia banks is that all y'all ever want to talk about what doctors to do y'all body i have one client that no matter what i went there for that's all we ever talked about. She was like, girl, you see that booty that Dr. Chang threw up there? And I was like, yeah, I seen that thing. All right. So DMV doctors, maybe I should just start out every live with that. And we can just go on and get that out the way. Out of all the things in the world to be talking about, all y'all ever want to talk about is what doctors to go to. DMV. Y'all ready? Y'all got your pens? Nia Banks, she's in Greenbelt. Dr. Rotman, um, he's in uh, Baltimore. Um, Dr. Ratana, he's in D.C. Dr. Cordestani, he's in Virginia. Dr. Bolden, I think I want to say she's in Bethesda and D.C., I'm almost positive she has two offices. I could be wrong now. But um, the only doctor that in the DMV you absolutely have to stay away from is um, Dr. Araya in D.C. Just is a no. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's like an eye doctor or some shit. Queens. L-I-M-M-T's. I'm assuming this means the Long Island M-T's. I don't know. You could DM me and I usually respond and I'll send y'all some screenshots of Instagrams. Um, but I don't know them offhand. 
All right, what's next? Um, who's my favorite female artist? Um, I never left the 90s. So uh, I'm a, a Neil Soul kind of girl. I love um, Rochelle Farrell, um, Michelle and Dicello, um, uh, India Ari. I'm just having some brain farts over here. Jasmine Sullivan, she's like current bay. She left the 90s, disappeared, came back, and it took us all back to the 90s like two weeks ago. Um, other favorite artists, female artists. Uh, oh, I'm having a brain fart right now. I'll come back to you. It's another one who like I used to just be in love with oh um and i can think of their songs but i can't think of, get away from my wine puppies don't get wine i can't think of her name right now um i want to say she was a one-hit wonder she wasn't it's just that the music industry i'm sure like with any industry even our industry if you're not ready it will chew you up and spit you out so do me a favor I want to make sure I answer that properly because I love music. My dad is a concert pianist and I grew up with music. Um, I am going to put it up on my lives. And, I mean, on my Insta story after this live so we can go back and um, and vibe off of that. That's That question is a whole, whole, whole vibe that uh, I would love to spend some time on with y'all. So we're going to talk about our favorite artists. Sing the song. How does it go? It's called Closer. Yeah, we can still go out. I got 42 minutes from my life. Um, I got, um, I got stuff. I got backup. No? Okay. You don't want to go out no more? Um, can you create a cuff if the doctor didn't give you one? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Yes. The cuff would be created by two things. All right. Uh, Guapale. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Guapale. Um, love Guapale. But you, she didn't really make too much after her song. Like, the industry started, like, affecting her in ways that she wasn't feeling. And she disappeared. I wonder if she started writing more. And that's why we didn't see her as much. But Guapale was um, a 90s bay for sure. She's a whole frequency and mood on her own. Can you create a cuff if the doctor didn't give you one? Very good question. So it will be combined with a mixture of cavitation on the under cuff. So uh, on the hamstring area. With wood therapy on the hamstring area. Vacuum therapy, um, bringing it up to the gluteal area. Um, vacuum therapy when used to using for transferring fat is um wait for it wait for it it is a glorified penis pump remember the penis pump from like the 70s and 80s it <clears throat> um does move some fat tissue to that area but for the most part it is um inflaming the tissue that's already in that area with oxygen cells and causing them to swell temporarily which is why vacuum therapy is not permanent so when you see these girls uh, or you see therapists, I have never, I'll teach y'all like in courses if y'all really want to know, but I've never offered vacuum therapy because it is not permanent. It is a temporary fix. So if you want some extra plump, maybe for a fuck em dress or an event that you're going to, then vacuum therapy might be a good look, <clears throat> but it's not going to last more than maybe three months, maybe if you're lucky. And the more you sit on it, the more it's going to deflate because you're compressing the cells. I'm going to levitate. But yes, you can create a cuff. <laughs> Instead of trying to plump up the butt, um, the cuff would be created by decreasing the fat that is called the banana roll on the upper hamstring area. Um, if you already have a BBL, it would help to enhance and fluff that area. <clears throat> but again, it's not, not permanent. Will it mess up the BBL? No, it will not mess it up. All right. Um, 
Cool. How many days should we wait for massages in DR after tummy tuck and lipo 360? Three days. All right. What's next? That's it. That's always I'm out. Anybody else got another question? Will it be like maintaining? Yes, it will help maintain. Will vacuum therapy help with decreasing fascia bands before surgery? Yes. Yes, it will. That's actually a great use for it. <clears throat> Juno's in your food bowl. All right, cool. I'm starting to consider going to the DR, but want to know what are some good doctors for plus size girls in Miami? The one doctor that was my go-to, <clears throat> she's MIA at the moment. She's MIA, MIA, in MIA. <clears throat> Would have been Doback. There aren't a lot of doctors that take plus size girls because of the whole BMI thing. Um, yeah, that was a good question about the fascia bands. I sent the question earlier. Did I miss it? I said, oh. No, I said what I said. Um, can you resend it? It didn't. Uh, it didn't come through. So just type it up again. <clears throat> Does B12 and folic acid no. shots keep fat cells in your butt? No. Um, there's no scientific proof that it does. If anything, think about what B12's purpose is. B12 speeds up your metabolism and it helps burn fat. So I'm not sure about B12 shot. People get B12 shots to lose fat. If you're shooting that in your butt, wouldn't that actually cause it to burn the fat that's there in a localized area? Uh, that just doesn't medically make any sense. So I'm going I'm to say no. No. Yep. See what they said. What is the secret <clears throat> to keeping these hips? Genetics, DNA, not compressing them after surgery for three to um, three to four weeks. Um, wearing moderate compression to lose compression in the butt and hip area. Eating foods high in healthy fat. There is a video on my YouTube that's called Feeding the Fat that talks about what food you should eat after getting a BBL or a fat transfer to your hips <clears throat> that'll help keep them um, inflated. Yeah, I thought B12 would make the fat go away, Diamond Diva. Um, but, you know, stuff is new every day and I'm not opposed to new stuff. It's just that it needs to come from a medical standpoint. And people just say any old crazy shit and pass it off as a good look because we all are looking for solutions whether it's from a provider standpoint or from a client standpoint so if somebody presents something that's new and it sounds good and it looks good that's called suedo science when it seems like it will be a good look and it makes sense but it actually doesn't i think that is what b12 is in my opinion um i'm gonna have to send you his youtube i was watching and these nurses said said it did yeah, please text it to me um, as soon as I'm done with this. All right, what's the next question? I'm almost six weeks post-op, lipo 360. What's the best? Oh, I never answered y'all two inches question. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, after this one, I'll come back to the two inches question. So if y'all just joined me at the beginning of this live, somebody was like, hey, how can I lose two inches off my waist? So I was like, all right, I'm going to tell you. And I was all dramatic. And I was like, stop eating. And then that was the answer. But I actually got real answers. And then my ADD kicked in and I forgot. So as soon as I finish this one, we're going to come back to that two inches question. What's the best way to, to stay compressed during recovery from a breast reduction scheduled for next week? <clears throat> I got a better question. Why is your doctor doing surgery again or even a different doctor if you just had surgery six weeks ago? That's what I want to know. I'll answer your question. When you answer my question. Um, okay, so I said I was going to um, answer the two inches question. All right, everybody got their pen ready, right? Yep, you want to lose two inches off your waist, post-op or non-surgically. Post-op, um, you're going to adjust your compression. 
If you're not compressing anymore, go back to compression life. You're going to start dry brushing. You <clears throat> are going to stop eating carbs past 3 p.m. Notice I didn't say you had to stop eating carbs altogether. Just stop eating carbs past 3 p.m. Your metabolism takes a nose dive after 3 p.m. And your body struggles to process the carbs. And culturally, we like our sides. We like... You know, I'm not sure what you're doing, but you probably shouldn't be doing it. We like um, rice and noodles and fries and potatoes. I'm not saying that you can't have those things. When you eat it matters. So not eating it past three o'clock is key. You want to take a minimum of 8,000 steps a day. Um, you're going to introduce strength training into your workout. You are going to, um, if you don't have a workout, you don't have to, but strength training will help to um, build muscle mass, which helps to burn fat. You are going to try to eat a little bit cleaner. When you look down at your plate, um, you should see color. Life nutrients are located in color. And if your plate isn't colorful, you are lacking nutrients that your body needs to, oh, I don't know, burn down fat. 8,000 steps a day. Um, 8,000. It sounds like a lot, but it's not. 6,000 steps is like a little over a mile. So 8,000 steps. The average person not even trying. If you just walking around your house every day, living a, a semi-sedentary lifestyle. Your walk. The average person living sedentarily walks about 2,000 steps a day without trying to. Um, I'm asking you all to be intentional. You want your waist to go down intentionally, then you need to be intentional with your decisions and your lifestyle choices. So you're going to intentionally add an additional 6,000 steps. And 6,000 steps is a little over a mile. Got it? Not that much. Not that bad. You're going to increase your water intake. So you can break down fat all you want to. You can drink whatever um, herbs and poopy stuff you want. If you don't have enough water in your system to flush that stuff out, is going to get reabsorbed or it's not going to move at all. Your lymphatic system works in conjunction with your immune system. So I am here for the teas that make you poop, but it's got to be more to it than that. And once you poop, you got to replace those nutrients back in your body. Um, probiotics are a good look, especially after you had surgery and you just had all of these antibiotics, um, probiotics to replace the healthy bacteria flora in your body. It takes about 35 minutes to walk 5,000. And then get this. Y'all don't have to do 5,000 all at once. Like, break it up. Set a timer. Um, I used to take my clients' phones, and I would set timers in their phone. And it would be at the top of the hour. And when that timer goes off, I would tell them to go walk, it up, and, walk up and down the stairs 10 times. You do that eight times throughout the day, oh, you'll get your steps in. Can I do the elliptical instead of all that walking? My knees be hurting. Yeah. It's just that when people think about um, trying to change their body and then you say the words work out it deters them because they were like eh, all right what else you got what else you got like we want magical pills and like the burning bush answer um so walking is usually easier than me trying to tell somebody to go get on the elliptical because the elliptical is equated to working out and then working out is the devil like y'all want to do that which is why we're gonna get surgery right <laughs> Or some things can it helps jumpstart it. Getting surgery, I get annoyed for y'all because getting surgery is not a shortcut. It's not the easy way out. It's actually harder because people be like, "Oh, you should just work out." Guess what? You get surgery and you still supposed to do all the other stuff that they telling y'all to do. It just gives you better intentional, uh, focused, localized results. Um, if your knees hurt, you can get some arch support and check your shoes. That will help. Um, wearing a knee brace will help. Um, you can put some tiger balm on your knees. That'll help. But um, you have to be active. You have to include activity into this in some way, shape, or form. And I'm not telling... If you want to go and run, cool. If you want to get an elliptical, cool. I'm just saying put one foot in front of the other 8,000 times. All right, what else to get your waist smaller? Cavitation. Let's talk about cavitation. You To do cavitation, you need to be at least... I ask y'all to be six weeks post-op before starting cavitation. Cavitation cannot be done on fat transferred areas. It should not be done on any areas that you are still super puffy in. And let's talk about these cavitation machines real quick. 
If you are not a professional, do not go and get those professional grade machines. What you don't know is that at the wrong angle, it can cause osteoporosis inside of vertebral tissue or inside of osseous tissue. So your rib cage, your vertebrae, your hip bones, and your pelvic girdle. I would prefer if my clients go and get the handheld cavitation machines. Now the thing is that with the handheld cavitation machines, they are not going to give you the results that a professional machine will. And you have to use them longer to get those results. And it needs to be used in conjunction with an electro gel, right? I'm just giving you all the same. But you have to do it consistently, 10 minutes per area, at least two months before you'll start seeing the results, right? Um, you can, uh, there is nothing that says that you can't do it every single day, but I would suggest giving your skin a break in between. Um, so if you want to do it um, four to six days and then take a break and then go back to doing it, cool. It will not give you the same results as the professional ones, but the professional ones, it is very hard to use on yourself at an angle that will not compromise your bone structure and is not something that you'll see the effects of, the negative effects of right now. Using professional grade equipment at the wrong angle will fuck you up when you like 50 or 70, you know, somewhere in that time frame. When women, we go through estrogen withdrawals after menopause and we're already struggling to maintain because one of the other um, red blood cells are a part of uh, building and creating hormones, one of which is to uh, estrogen. So as we go through menopause and our estrogen levels drop, estrogen also is a part of rebuilding the osseous structure. So we are more susceptible to having brittle bones. And then back when you was in your 20s and 30s and you wanted a small waist, you go and get this professional grade equipment that you shouldn't be using. And ain't nobody, you didn't sit up here and have a unicorn in your face sipping wine telling you don't do this dumb shit. So you're going to do the dumb shit. And now you've accelerated your tissue breakdown. Don't do it. Just don't. Um, how much is it? Uh, handheld capitation machines, they run like, I've seen them as cheap as like 39 and as high as like maybe 120 for the little handheld ones. Um, you should try high protein, low carb and do strength training with heavier weights. That part. What she said. Yep. Um, so you remember when I said don't eat carbs past 3 p.m.? All right, so here's the, the, the catch, right? You can only eat from two food groups past three. That's veggies and protein. But, but, but you can have as much as you want. And so if you want another steak, go be great. Go get it. You want extra salad? Have at it. Enjoy. It's just no carbs past 3 p.m. So you're increasing your vegetable intake. You're increasing your protein intake. You're going to add more water. Uh, you are going to add strength training and weightlifting. And all of this, um, if you're trying to do things non-surgically, it is very hard to do what we call spot training. You cannot spot train non-surgically outside of like cavitation machines. And somebody asks, what does a cavitation machine do? Um, cavitation machines, they um, target fat cells in localized areas. Um... And they help you lose weight in those localized areas. How much water? Gallon of water a day, ideally. I've lost 18 pounds doing that since January 1st. Absolutely. Um, whenever I'm like actually paying attention, I try to drink a gallon of water a day. Um, by switching to drinking a gallon of water a day, I lost 10 pounds just by drinking a gallon of water a day. I be trying to go running and like work out, but I live in the DMV and I roll over when the alarm goes off and I open up one eye. And it says that the temperature is 27 degrees. And I was like, ooh, we're not doing that. Mm -mm. I don't want to. So here's another thing, too, um, when it comes to um, burning calories and losing weight. You, um, cold water. So your body has, if you drink cold water throughout the day, your body burns a random ass number. I don't know why is this exact, but an extra 123 calories if you drink the water cold. So, of course, there's benefits to drinking warm water for your digestive system, your respiratory system, and your flectum systems. We're not talking about that right now. When it comes to um, if you drink cold water, your body has to expel calories and caloric energy to warm that water up to body temperature. So you wind up burning calories just by drinking water at a different temperature. Um, I don't want to lose my booty and I don't want a hard booty. 
Uh, if you get a BBL, you cannot return back to doing keto until you're about two to three months post-op because keto targets fat cells. And if you don't want to burn off your booty, then I messaged you about a Tampa therapist and you still, and I still haven't heard from you. No, because I was in meetings all day. I synced it. Did y'all get that? Um, y'all seen that meme before? I synced it. I just, I didn't get to it yet. I will, but I synced it. And I didn't want to be rude and leave you on red. So I saw what you were asking for, and I'm like, when I have time, which wasn't today, I'll get back to it and I'll respond. Um, now, hold on. And this isn't, I'm not coming for anybody at all, but I am being 100% transparent. I'm doing all of this for free. And if there's something that you want to know, and I'm not, I haven't gotten to it at, at a fast enough pace, money does talk. And on my Instagram and my website, if you want to set aside time in my schedule, for us to sit down and go over whatever it is that you need, um, you can pay for a virtual consultation. And that way you don't have to wait until I have time to get to it. So those are your options. If you, um, you know, just slide in my DMs and when I have time, I get to them. And I usually get to them within a day or so. Um, my schedule was just so crazy busy today. I haven't gotten to it. But if you need it sooner than whatever it is I'm providing, I offer virtual consultations for clients pre-surgery planning and i also offer mentoring calls for um providers if you want to jump start your business if you want to add some smoke under your your business and hit the ground running a little bit more um if you want to amp up your marketing if you want more clients coming through the door if you want to make more money if you want to carve out more time for your family if you want to build a complete empire and wound up wind up on the the news or the front of somebody's um because i have pr managers and pr agents too on the front of somebody's magazine cover whatever we could talk about that um that is uh, available to you but in the meantime, I'll get back to that um, on a day that's not today. I promise. <laughs> Anybody that's been following me long enough, I usually respond to DMs um, within a day or two of receiving them. Usually. Well, unless you ask me some dumb shit and I look at it and I'm like, I'm not answering that. But um, me helping y'all find MTs, that is a part of my platform. Um, and I don't have an MT in every single state yet. I don't know. I didn't know that there were people in Montana. Um, I had no idea that there were. I thought it was like cows and chickens and milks and cheese and shit. But apparently there's people. And y'all, the, the people, they'll go and get plastic surgery. But there's no massage therapist there. I have yet to find a massage therapist in Montana. I have yet to find a massage therapist in Wisconsin. I have yet to find a massage therapist in Alabama. There is one in Tampa. I just got to go find her information. And I didn't have time to look through the cabillion of contacts that um, are in my Facebook group as well as... Now, my Facebook group. Ooh. Um, time out post-op corner. I'm going to type it and pin it. Um, it's free. And to get into it, you have to type in... Uh, I'm going to come back to that question. You have to type in the entire name. Come on, stop playing with my life. Y'all not let me pin today? There we go. I don't have a Facebook, but I wish I did. All right, so listen, right? Um, if you want the source of answers for things, even if you don't need to get on there to talk to people, you can go on just for that group. Like, you don't have to go and interact with the whole people you may know and this, that, and the other, blah, 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 blah. Nope, you ain't got to do that. Um, but you can create a Facebook just to go to the group that I just linked. There's over $100,000 worth of information um, that's in there um, that's free. And there's I used to have this entire list. Somehow it got taken down about two months ago that had uh, massage therapists by states. And I haven't had the time or the patience it's just not in me right now to go back and recreate that list. But if you were to type in the word, go into this group and type in the word Tampa. And there's other massage therapists who have already been tagged that are in that service the Tampa area that other people have answered that question. Um, so that's a resource uh, to you as well. That group will answer questions that you didn't even know existed. Um, have I started your one on ones with therapists again? No, the one-on-ones stress me out and drain me. 
Um, you can set up a mentoring call before we can set up a one-on-one. Um, nope, haven't started the one-on-ones back again. Sure have not. Sure no. All right. Um, what what was that question? Someone had asked that I got sidetracked on. Um, did I finish answering the two-inch question? Nope, I sure didn't. My ADD is on fire tonight. If you had lipo a year ago and you have what looks like air pockets and bubbles in your lower abdomen, what should you do? I don't know if you if it's possible to have an air pocket in your lower abdomen a year post-op. Um, because air pockets, when I think of them, um, you know how if you put like a protective screen on your phone and then you get an air pocket there and it bubbles up and it moves around? That's an air pocket. Um, what you sound like you're describing might be um, fib- soft fibrosis, but I don't foresee a year post-op it being an air pocket um because at a year post-op if it is an air pocket or a seroma it also might be a little bit dangerous and i would tell you to go get it checked out by a physician so that's my answer final answer go get checked out by a physician um all right what else next question how soon after lipo can you do laser lipo that's a really good question eight weeks All right. Um, do you recommend cavitation? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, but you have to be a minimum of six weeks for cavitation. Uh, after tummy tuck and lipo, when do you think I can get a navel piercing? Whenever you want to. All right. That's not the right answer, is it? No. So unlike with tattoos, well, I can't say unlike with tattoos. Um, there isn't a defined amount of time. The skin is still healing and it will be numbed. But... Tattoos will your your skin healing and having sebum and the inflammation and the constant remodeling and remodification of the skin in that area um, is still transpiring for uh, several weeks to months. It may wind up pushing the ink back out. It may wind up distorting the tattoo. Now, from a medical standpoint, you don't have to wait, but it is advised that you wait. At least three months before doing that, at least in the area that you had it in. Um, but when it comes to a navel piercing, when you get a tummy tuck, you usually get a brand new belly button with it as well, right? Your belly button has to have time to heal. And if you were to pierce it while it's still healing, your body is usually probably going to reject that piercing. It is not guaranteed. You can go and get a tummy tuck, uh, I mean, and, and get a piercing a couple days later, and then maybe nothing will happen. I don't like playing Russian roulette with y'all results. Um, so it's not from a medical standpoint. It's just instead of doing something without having any surety behind it, wait until your belly button is fully healed before going to get the piercing. Um, the tummy tuck decision heals externally and superficially at about two and a half, three weeks. Your belly button, you, especially if your doctor uses sutures that have to be removed, those sutures may not heal until about week six. So, again, we're looking at about week eight to week 12 before you should go and get a navel piercing. All right, next. Do you see a difference in the PRP assisted BBLs versus people who don't use the PRP? Yes. What can be done about belly button hangover? Uh. Revision, a belly button revision. Um, oh, somebody wants to join our live. Um, do we have to take out the hoo ha piercing for a surgery? I just got it done not too long ago. No, unless you're getting like vaginal rejuvenation or something. No, um, y'all be asking to join and then disappear. Uh, but no, when it comes to a hood or, um, is it called a VCH or VHC? I always mix them up. But the uh, clip piercing, clip ring, no, you don't have to take it out. Um, when can you start working out? That is a great question. It depends on the procedure. If you get lipo only, you can start when you're comfortable, um, which will be around week four to week six. If you get a tummy tuck, you're looking at about week eight to week 12. If you get a BBL, you can start 
uh, at week six, but it needs to be minimal um, and low intensity. You can start high intensity training again after a BBL at um, week 12. You don't want to burn your booty off. So take it easy on the cardio. If you get a breast augmentation, um, then you're looking at uh, week three to week four. Do we have to take out? Oh, I asked that already. Um, uh, done about belly button hangover. I think I answered that. But usually just a revision of sorts. There's nothing that's going to get the skin to attract um, naturally and non-surgically without it. What is the best compression for a thigh lift? A best compression for a thigh lift is um, a faja that comes down to the knees. Um, you may also consider Spanx, but that might be uncomfortable in the waist area. Um, or you can get a faja that comes up underneath of the boobs. Did I finish the two-inch question? I keep getting sidetracked from that damn two-inch question. Um, we stopped that when I was talking about the two-inch question, how to lose two inches off of your waist. I stopped at uh, cavitation. Um, after cavitation, you need to have adequate compression. Um... I would suggest getting body contouring sessions and services. Um, you can also do body wraps that are focused on either, uh, they're called thermal um, body wraps, so either hot or cold, um, with osmotic wrap in the midsection. So yes, now I am done the two inch question. What's the best scar treatment? It depends on the type of scar you're talking about. Um, you can have scars that are keloidal. You can have scars that are um, not raised but darkened. Um, you can have scars that have actual scar tissue that's underneath of the skin instead of on top of the skin. But typically, um, I would, depending on your scar, um, and if it's a little bit more aggressive, then I would suggest going to see a scar treatment center. It is usually going to be covered by your insurance company as well. Um, you may need a referral from your PCP or a dermatologist. Um, I had a client who got lidocaine injections inside of her scars and it helped flatten it out. I had never heard anything like that before, but it actually worked. Um, so you could talk to them about that. Fresh surgery scars to avoid keloids. Uh, Rosehip oil, tea tree oil, uh, Mederma, bio oil. And then there's this other really super expensive uh, silicone strips once it, it, uh, the incisions or the scar has at least scabbed up. And there's this um, really expensive scar cream. I mean, like, it costs like $100 for a tube of like two ounces or some stupid shit. But it works pretty well. It, it also works pretty well. Should I get IV hydration the day of SX after SX or the next day? Um, I will wait on IV. Is it Monat? Monet? I don't know if it's Monet or not. How do you pronounce that word? Silogen. Thank you. It's Silogen. Um, Silogen. It's called Silogen. Pucker up. Uh, I would wait for that cream is expensive. IV therapy till at least the day after or two days after. All right. Back to the questions. Oh, shit. Yeah, I got a bunch of questions, ma'am. Oh, wait. Okay, so this girl is right here, right? Her right here. This joint right there. You see her name? At the top, it says Moonbake Eek. She asked some kind of question, and I ain't read yet. She's a beast when it comes to um, scar cover-uppings. <laughs> That's not the word for her, I'm sure. But Moon Babe is located in Baltimore. Um, she just got a new suite in Towson Commons. She does it where if you have scars, um, she can tat the scars, the color of your skin. So go talk to Moon Babe Inc. and tell her Tyson you. All right, now Moonbank, what's your question? What are some natural methods to gain a booty? Vacuum therapy, but it's temporary. Eating yourself a booty, um, lifting high weights, because the butt is a compilation of um, three dense gluteal muscles. Um, it takes a very long time. Um, you eat, have to eat a shit ton of protein and you work out a whole lot. But you usually wind up with a more muscular booty, like a Venus Williams booty, not a Kim Kardashian or Nicki Minaj booty. Um, but uh, high healthy fats, high protein, 
little to no carbs, low sodium, high weights, and you're working out um, six days a week. Uh, you can also, like I said, vacuum therapy. There's something else, um, injectables that are also temporary, but I think it's called Kybella and it's really expensive, but it will last you like three to five years. Again, it's really expensive. Are there any other natural solutions to getting a booty without surgery? No, that's about it. All right. Um, cool. What's next? How to get rid of inflammation is creating discoloration. So that discoloration is called hemosiderin staining. I sell an oil. I make it. It is called, go away, unpin, unpin, unpin. I'm trying to unpin it so I can pin. So it's called unicorn oil. It is amazeballs. All right, it is not letting me unpin this. There it is. Ha, ah, you're not the boss of me. Bit at Lee backslash time oil. No, Comet failed to post. Of course it did. Post. Comment failed to post. If you go to the link in my bio and it says unicorn oil, I work with an FDA approved chemist to create this oil. It smells absolutely amazing and it is really helpful and effective at decreasing inflammation after surgery. That's what I'm going to do on Monday. I'm going to write it down. I'm going to go get a bottle of unicorn oil and I'm going to use it and show you all how to self massage with it. Um, and then you can go get you a bottle. It helps reduce inflammation amazingly. Um, it's awesome. I have two bottles and I need more. That stuff is crazy bomb. Do I have wholesale? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, what else? Uh, but outside of the unicorn oil that I sell, um, to decrease inflammation, decrease your salt intake, walk more often. Uh, is the oil for massage therapy like lymph and stuff or can it also help with skin appearance? Yeah, well, it helps um, to naturally moisturize the skin and decrease inflammation and puffiness. Um, it will not help like if you need like a skin whitener, it's not for that. Um, but helping the appearance of it and helping it uh, become more healthy, it nourishes the cells in a localized area. And because of the way that the oil is created and diffused, it um, will permeate through the skin barrier to actually make it into your system to decrease the inflammation naturally. Do you do a clinic and spa packages? I would love to stock it. Let's talk. Yes. Lymphatic drainage massages for tummy tuck upwards or downwards? Upwards. Great question. Pineapple for inflammation. Bromelain. Yes. Um, what about rosacea for us pale folks? No. It. I don't think it would help with rosacea. Okay, so rosacea is a different form of inflammation. Um, and because you usually, to help treat rosacea and how aggressive it is, um, you usually need a mild steroid to treat the rosacea. While my product is amazing, it has limits, and it doesn't have any steroids in it to affect the rosacea. So I'm going to say no on that. But if you want to do some studies with it, um, you can get a bottle and use it and see if it helps it. And then you can come back and tell me, and then we can say, yes, it works for rosacea. Um, but to my knowledge, I'm going to say no. Um, Ooh, yeah. I, the first time before I got a chemist, I tried to do it on my own and I had all raw or organic, um, materials and they are like certain materials that are in there. They are so high in acidity that I used everything on my boyfriend first and I gave him a chemical burn on his skin and um, uh, irritation because of the acidity. It was real bad. And then when I told her about it, she was like, ma'am, I need you to stay in your lane. This is what I do. And I knew that that's what she did, but I thought I got it until I found out I didn't got it. Um, how soon can you use it after surgery? Day two. Is the oil okay? So somebody asked me it was something we were talking about before I got sidetracked. Um, decreasing inflammation. So you have the lymphatic oil, um, the unicorn oil. Um, we'll talk about fibrosis in a second. Uh, but I have to answer. It's a bunch of questions in the little question box that I need to get to. Uh, 
Are y'all still together? He's a keeper. Babe, are we still together? He said, uh-huh. <laughs> yes, we're still together. <laughs> he likes me. Even though he made... Yo, you made me move out the seat. You're not even sitting in the seat. You blew out my candle. You relocated me. And you're not even in your seat. Okay. All right. Got it. Got it. Decreasing inflammation. Bromelain. That's what it was. Um, I'm still processing. I just looked over and I saw the seat was empty. Can you, like, indulge me a little bit and just sit in the seat? Okay. Can I go sit in the seat? Okay. He said I can't sit in the seat. Even though ain't nobody in that seat. There's some real American entitlement over here. Don't be taking that for him. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to have a capital siege over here. I'm just going to go take the seat. Do you know somebody was trying to pawn off Pelosi's laptop? Craziness. Just fucking craziness. Inflammation. Bromelain. So you got bromelain pills. You got pineapple tea. You can make homemade pineapple tea. You can buy pineapple tea, but I'm a purist, so uh, homemade is better. <laughs> What else um, for uh, natural inflammation? Ice, icing, taking cold showers. We talked about um, freezing your faja. That helps. Um, water pills. Oh, how did I forget to tell you about that? Water pills are amazing for peeing out that inflammation. So there's good and then there's great. So go, y'all still got your pens? Good would be you getting a water pill off of um, Amazon. Amazon is bay number two. If I can't get it off of Amazon, I low-key don't want it anymore. And you're going to get the two brands that I usually recommend. And these aren't the only. These are just the ones that I know work and I'm familiar with. Um, I've personally used myself are Water Away and then Water X. And they are also at GNC, if I'm not mistaken. So those are good, but great. Great would be getting a prescription from uh, your PCP. Um, and uh, some of them may want to check your liver levels before they give it to you. But don't go with the store brand and go get like a diuretics pill. Um, while it is a diuretic, do not get the brand diuretics. It ends with, I think it's T-I-X. It's not that good. It's piss poor quality. We talked about companies adding in supplements and fillers to stretch products yesterday when I was trying to figure out how to cut Coke again. And all y'all motherfuckers knew how to cut Coke. Why do y'all know how to cut Coke? I be having other questions. All right. Um... So yeah, water away is great at inflammation. Hey, don't ask me no more questions. Um, I gotta get through these questions. No more, yeah, I'm cutting y'all off. No more, no more questions. What did you say about the osmotic wrap? Osmotic wrap for taking inches off the waist, um, get it. And you can add in any kind of thermal cream to go along with it, whether it's hot or cold. Cold is a form of fat freezing and cryolipolysis. You can do it manually with cold creams. Or you can get a hot cream and you can um, heat up the tissue in the area, which will cause your body to sweat and burn calories and releasing fat to cool your body back down. What was the brand from the PCP? There is no brand from the PCP. Is it? Wait. Yes, it is. Fuck. What was it called? Mm. Shit. I forgot. It'll come to me later when I'm not even thinking about it anymore. Um, but there is one common brand. You can just, just add your PCP. Uh, post an Amazon shopping list. I know, right? Like, I just tell y'all get everything off of Amazon. Fuck, what was that? Um, late, late, Lasix? But it's not like the eye surgery Lasix. Yeah, that's the name of it. Lasix. I think it's spelled L-A-S-I-X. But I'm almost positive it's called Lasix. Because I used to compare it to the eye surgery thing. Um, yeah, y'all need an Amazon list. I got y'all. But after this, we're going to be talking about music. Well, not after this, after this live. How soon post-op can you use the sauna wrap? So sauna wrap or like the sauna blanket? Um, I usually tell people to wait about six weeks, um, especially if somebody got a B BBL. Lasix, yeah. Lascivious? The fuck is lascivious? That sounds like a real hood ghetto name from the 90s. You posted a cream in a blue bottle for a TT. Where's it from? I did you posted a cream <coughs> in a blue bottle for tummy tuck? I don't remember that. If you remember it or you still got it or you still see it, send it back to me. But I don't remember doing that. Not that I, I wouldn't. We can just blame. Um, oh, it was autocorrect. We can just blame the weed. I don't remember. 
for tummy tuck? The only thing I could think of that specifically for tummy tucks might have been Tecasol, and that is um, uh, a medicated powder that you use after tummy tucks. Is cool sculpting recommended after lipo? <clears throat> I don't have faith in cool sculpting. Um, there are better equipments out there in the way that allergen pushes cool sculpting. Um, but, uh, cool sculpting is not really recommended for the African American community because it's something that's called PAH, paradoxical, para, is a paradoxical adipose hyperplasia. It's really common. And the thing is with, um, see, Keisha Cole ain't even get started. See, that's what y'all, I'm glad y'all still hanging out with me. Um, do I like sativas or indicas? Uh, I like sativas if I'm trying to work and think and be creative. I like indicas if I'm trying to chill and decompress and relax. I actually don't like hybrids that much. They confuse me. At least they confuse my body. But Cool Sculpting, um, they ran all of their tests to get it uh, certified and approved on um, young uh, Anglo-Saxon males. And that is not who the main demographic is. So it's a very misleading um, piece of equipment that I am not a fan of. So when y'all are done, if y'all want to do some research on cool sculpting, go look up P-A-H. Um, and you may not even find a whole bunch about it because when P-A-H happens, after you prove to them that you have P-A-H, they pay you to be quiet and you can never speak about it again. So no, um, not a fan of cool sculpting. You can do different forms of cryolipolysis, but school, cool sculpting technology and um, specifically, I do not like. How should I deal with my cycle in Faha? It seems like a lot. Shh. You die silently and dramatically. Um, you just you just die into a spontaneous bust of bubbles and rainbows and pain. Um, or tampon. But it is a lot. Um Yeah, what Yara said, aka white males. I'll be trying not to be racist. My dude uh be like, yo, you you do know that that's low-key racist, right? Um, I think black people are actually the biggest offenders of saying racist shit. We just don't admit it. When can you get a navel piercing after a BBL lipo? That's different because you didn't get you a new belly button. Um BBL lipo, your body is still reforming, skin is still healing. Let's say week six to eight. How do you get a follow-up from my consultation? You gave me homework, and I haven't been able to get back up with you. Um, Bae told me I had to stop saying, um, what word can I say instead of, um, pause. pause. No, just pause. Oh, just pause? All right. What was the question again? <laughs> You can, uh, damn, see, I did it again. Fuck. All right, every time I do it, I'm going to take a sip. <laughs> I'm going to start saying, um, all the fucking time. Text me, 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 text me. I'll, I'll respond. Text me tomorrow. Not tonight, tomorrow. Uh, what was the next question? What's the best sauna blanket brand? I don't know. But if I did know, I wouldn't drop it without them giving me a check. I don't do affiliate marketing for free. So, I don't know. But I don't have one. If I did, I would tell you I have one, and I'm being petty, but I actually don't have one. Uh, damn it. Shit. Fuck. All right. When did, does discoloration go away after lipo? That is called hemosiderin staining, and it could take a few weeks to a few months to go away. The longest I've ever seen hemosiderin staining stay around. <laughs> is a year, but it usually doesn't take that long. It's more common and prominent in African-American skin. How do you wave automatically when you live, hopefully, when you live? I don't know what that means. I don't, I'm not sure. So I'm I'm just going to, I'm going to wave for you. Is this what we was asking? Wave. Oh, I'm going to work on my, uh, damn it, shit, fuck. I got, I got I'm going to work on my Miss America wave with y'all. Am I doing it right? 
or my politician wave. Am I politician waving right? I'm sure this is not the, the answer that she was, the question she was asking. How's my politician wave? A little hood? Bam. 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 Sorry. All right. Calm. Pause. What's the next question? Do you recommend IV therapy post-op same day or next day? Next day at the earliest. You don't want to do shit same day except go to sleep. Your body's going to expel all that anyways. All right. Last question. And then I'm out. Too fast? Oh, it was too fast? Is that better? How long do you recommend wearing Fajas for after surgery? How long do you recommend wearing Fajas for after surgery? That answer is on my YouTube. If Instagram would let me post links, I would. But go on my YouTube. The Be More Wave. Nah, the Be What's the Be More Wave, babe? That's the Be More Wave. Damn, <laughs> uh, shit, fuck. I sit the... Oh, hold on. Oh. She's the one who asks about the wave. She wants to come on live. What was... Oh, my bad. Hi. <laughs> I think we're going to go live with you. But, yeah. Hey, um, hey say, you live out here, you feel what I'm saying? Hey, say, we really go there, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you really feel what I'm saying? No. I was trying to ask you about the wave. You know, but when wait. you top up when you're live and you, you be pushing it automatically, like, how do you get yeah. it automatically? So, what happens is there's a little feature that pops up. And when somebody new joins, it says if you, it just gives me the option to wave it to you. So I just hit it. So you don't have like, to tap it physically. It's an automatic button. Yeah, or something? I have to physically tap. It. So oh, if okay. I'm, it'd be uh, like people be doing that shit. Also. You said you tap it physically. If I ever tap it physically, and but it'd be like this though. I ain't gonna lie. It'd be like this the whole time. They doing like this. Right. Like this. Whole time. Listen. Hey, say, whole time they doing like this for real. You feel what I'm saying? They hitting that button on the sneak tip. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, okay. yes. <laughs> the most random fucking question of the night, but yes, yes, they do. Yes. They just like boom and keep like bopping or whatever. Yes. Thank you, babe. Thank you. you That's what I wanted to know. Thank you, boo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I love y'all. I promise I do. Um, hold on. Is my phone tripping? Instagram, get it together. Instagram, get it together. I'm supposed to be getting off and going and hanging out. It's date night. Y'all cutting into date night. Bye. Bye. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> doing this night. Bye, Sam. <laughs> All right. Are we done with the question? What is too late for PRP after a BBL? Um, is there such thing as too late? I don't know if there's, I don't think there's such thing as too late. People get PRP when they've never had surgery. Recovery house or private nurse and why? Recovery houses uh, suck. And you you welcome, Muffin. Recovery houses in Miami suck right now. I prefer private nurses. At least with private nurses, you can hold them accountable and shit. And you get, what? Kelly! Don't nobody want me to get off at all. At least with private nurses, you can hold them accountable or whatever and you get undivided attention after this i'm leaving I'm, I'm leaving i tried to book with sam he has a response to my text oh, hey go mommy why y'all mess with me tonight i'm eating chili is it eating eating chili? what y'all gonna... doing over here talking poop <laughs> tell my man poop i don't know what the question is but the answer is poop. poop ew <laughs> you was the answer the other night <laughs> Why he eat my chips though? My tortilla chips. Why? Cause he <laughs> <didn't hear> you. <laughs> you already ate the dinner. Oh, hey, <laughs> chef, what are some techniques to break up fibrosis? And then we go on after this. I'm done. Uh, techniques and equipment, or just techniques? Just techniques. Mm. Um, chiseling. Oh, you you said um. You gotta take a sip. My mom <laughs> gave me free water. <laughs> They, they want to start date with us. Damn, damn, damn. 
I don't think. <laughs> you still ain't like my brosses yet, Kelly. I said chiseling. Oh yeah, you're right. But they don't know about that yet. They don't know about the ch chisel. Mm. The answer will be chisel. But what's some other techniques that that they do know? Wood therapy or, or like wash. Yeah, wood therapy. Um, silicone cups. Shahan said, "What are we doing?" Did you see how I just kept the, kept the cup? Because <laughs> I just kept saying, "Um, um, uh, um." <laughs> All right. All right. I love y'all. Thank y'all for coming and hanging out with us again. It was amazing. We'll be back on Monday. Uh, can somebody remind me what I said I was going to talk to you about? Oh, Monday. Monday, I said we were going to do a live you got free phone. oil. And we're going to do a live demonstration with the unicorn oil. Since Instagram will not allow me to upload the link, I don't see your DM. What DM? I didn't. What are you talking about? I didn't see no DM. I told y'all to DM me. DM me. Was, was, was I supposed to be DMing you? Like you right here. We'll figure it out. Oh, you can I for hanging out with me and rocking with me. Uh, Monday through Thursday. Damn, I said, um, I got a drink. <laughs> you can't even end the video. <laughs> I appreciate y'all for hanging out with me Monday through Thursday, 8 p.m. to 9 dot 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 since Instagram be letting me go over. Answering all my questions. Yes, don't forget I'll be fresh out of surgery and attending. See, because you bomb. You bomb. <laughs> Kels, what are we doing? <laughs> Everything and nothing at the same time. Up with them challenges. Oh, before we go, can you do the busted challenge? All right. I'll have Megan and Stallion needs to do the busted challenge. Yeah, I'm about to go to Johns Hopkins right now. <laughs> <laughs> hold up. Oh, hold up. Get yeah, real creative. And my my bras unsnapped in the back. Hold up. What is it? I think my butt big. I think my butt can big. All right. Oh, did y'all hear that? Ah, I'm not going to say it. Ouch. I said, yeah, yeah, girl. <laughs> did he just say, get your girl? <laughs> Look, you interrupted my dad. Yeah. About to send me to the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, yo. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yes, Kelly's in Baltimore. You want to hear that accent? Oh, she complete Baltimore. She all Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore. Bye. Baltimore. Bye. Baltimore. <laughs> I hit you like Kels. All right, boy. Yes, Kelly for the win. <laughs> Don't be good today when y'all are meant to be great. Bye.